हेलो चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम टू सरस्वती शिशु कुंज बगवाला गोसल टुडे आई एम गिविंग यू सेशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश ओके ऑलरेडी यू हैव लर्न चैप्टर 1 2 3 4 एंड 5 सो नाउ यू विल थिंकिंग नाउ यू विल थिंक दैट व्हाई आई एम टेलिंग चैप्टर 1 द मैजिक गार्डन इज ऑलरेडी फिनिश्ड बट यू डोंट नो अबाउट दिस Are you ready to learn this poem? Okay, children. You know the what is the name of this poem? Yes, Good Morning. So now I will sing this poem, and you will also try to sing and repeat after me. Okay, children. Good morning, sky. Good morning, sun. Good morning, little winds that run. Good morning birds Good morning trees and creeping grass and brownie bees How did you find out it was day Who told you night had gone away I am wide awake I am up now too I'll be right out to play with you. I'll be right out to play with you. Good morning. Good morning. Again, you also have to sing with me continuously. Okay, children. Good morning, sky. Good morning, sun. Good morning, little winds that run. Good morning, birds. Good morning, trees. and creeping grass and brownie bees how did you find out it was day who told you night had gone away i am wide awake i am up now too i'll be right out to play with you i'll be right out to play with you you love this poem yes this poem is on morning right what is happening in the morning in this poem you will learn these new words you can read downside c r w e p i n g creeping a w a k e awake g o n e a w a y gone away okay children so you will learn this poem with next slide good morning sky good morning sun good morning little winds that run you know who is singing this poem one child one girl okay the child is singing this poem of good morning why she, she is singing this poem because the child wants to wish them okay the child wants to wish all of them to whom she she is seeing in the morning for example in first line she is wishing to the sky then sun then little winds that run okay good morning good morning she is wishing to everyone 
to sky to sun to little winds she says good morning to them good morning birds good morning trees and creeping grass and brownie bees now again she is wishing to birds trees creeping grass and brownie bees she wants to say good morning to birds and trees and creeping grass what is the meaning of creeping you know children moving with the body close to the ground grass is coming out from the ground right and grass moving up from the ground so that is called creeping grass because it comes out from the ground brownie bees as you know bees are insects and those colors are brown so that's why brownie bees brownie means brownie means brown color how did you find out it was day now the child is thinking that how they all understood that now the day arise who told who told you night had gone away she is asking to them that how you understood how you know that night had gone away and now the day arise now the day is coming out how you all understood i am wide awake i am up now to i'll be right out to play with you now the now the child is asking that how you understood that night gone away and morning arise so now it's morning so i also awake means i also wake up and i am also ready to play with you all why child want to play with them because already morning arise and she wants to play with this all to whom with the, is she wants to play yes she wants to play with to whom anyone can tell yes to the sky the sun wind birds trees grass brownie bees okay she wants to play with this all so now let's learn one new exercise rhyming words what is rhyming words when we are speaking the rhyme sh should be same okay the tone of the words should be same see the examples bees trees bees trees day play day play to you to you sun run sun run these all words already taken from the poem only it's not from outside these all words are available in the poem of good morning now the next exercise c there are two lines one line of day and one line of night what you can see in daytime and what you can see in night time now let's learn this in daytime you can see sun bees birds sun bees birds you can see in daytime and what you can see in night time moon stars bats moon stars bats bats is a bird okay which you can see on the tree so again i am repeating day time you can see sun bees birds night time you can see moon stars and bats now next exercise nature walk what is nature walk means what you can see in nature it is natural things what you can see okay 
so here you can see six words first one is flowers second number sun third number butterfly four number bees five number trees and six number birds these all you can see in nature these all are natural okay so that is called nature walk so here i am finishing my slide walk so now get ready for the question answers children see this word meanings okay in this poem there are three words i i return this three words meanings okay the first one is creeping what is the meaning of creeping moving with the body close to the ground again creeping moving with the body close to the ground okay this is creeping word and its meaning is moving with the body close to the ground whatever things are there is connected with the ground and it's closer to the ground with their body that is called creeping and it's moving also the second one is wide wide means a great distance away from each other wide 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 open means there is a distance between you can see wide distance between two things okay with each other that is called wide awake to come out of sleep in the morning you are waking up right so that is called awake means you are come out of the sleep means now you are wake up okay now children see some question answers now let's see some question answers answer the following questions only three question answers are here so and these all are very easy so don't worry you can learn in by heart very easily and very fast okay the first one is why is the child in the poem happy again why is the child in the poem happy children you saw the video so now you understood that why child is happy what is the reason what is the reason of child's happiness okay so the answer is because see children you can write like this way the child in the poem is happy because then you can write the answer otherwise you can write directly from the because word okay it will be short otherwise your answer will be very long so i made it very small so you can start with the because word remember children first of all you have to write first letter of the answer will be capital and at the end of the sentence full stop these both are compulsory okay so let's see the first answer because it is morning now and the night is over why child is happy because already night is over and now what begins morning okay morning starts now it is morning time and already night is over so you can write the answer like this way because it is morning now and the night is over the second one is to whom does the child say good morning okay to whom does the child say good morning children you saw in the poem that child want to say to so say, say so many that uh, good morning good morning to whom he wants to speak like this way to whom child wants to wish good morning so the answer is the child says good morning to the sky the sun 